was so frightened. In a minute or two, she heard the howl again. She began to run, but the poor thing had lost her way. Is she going to be okay? She'll be fine, Jimmy. Listen, you'll see. What's this? What did that mean? Ooh. Oh, damn. Ooh, that mess. Tight ass Howard. Lawsuits, threats, recriminations. This is a situation no firm ever wants to be in. It's, well, it's embarrassing. So what are our options? Take it to trial? Expensive? The firm could choose to buy me out for an amount that is almost certain to bankrupt it. Mm. I don't want to be the agent of its destruction. There's no reason we can't put all this unpleasantness behind us <laughs> and continue on as we have been. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I think we can settle all this right now. With a simple handshake. Mm. Would you all give us the room for a moment? <laughs> ah! Howard's like, put that fucking hand down, bitch. Mm. Seventeen years. Eighteen in July, actually. All those years, we built this place together. Mm. And all that time, I've supported you. Mm -hmm. Because I always thought you had the best interest of the firm in mind. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You did. Right. For a long time. Not now. Personal vendettas drain your focus away from what's best for HHM. You've put your needs first to our detriment. I don't think that's accurate. The first instinct you have is to sue me? Right. To sue the firm? I, I don't even know. In, in what world? Is that anything but the deepest betrayal of everything we worked so hard to accomplish? In what world is that anything but the deepest betrayal of our friendship? How would right. I argue that you're the one who betrayed me? That's bullshit. And you know it. Right? This is pointless. Here. What is that? Three million dollars. <gasps> the first of three payments as per the partnership agreement. This is mostly for my personal funds. Oh. A few loans. Wow. You're paying me out of your own pocket. Yep. You want? You ain't shit, Chuck the fuck. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? There's one last thing. Oh. Everybody, I have some bittersweet news to share. Yeah. Sorry to say, but our fearless leader, Charles McGill, will be leaving HHM, effective immediately. He started off with six employees, and Chuck helped grow us into one of the largest firms. Do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> Howard. All right, then. Bye, Chuck the Fuck. It's been real. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> Chuck.
cheering him out. Get the fuck out, Chuck. He's gonna feed her. You're not feeding me, Jenny. There are lines we do not cross. <laughs> he was gonna. I don't give a shit about the office. Mm. So can I start looking for a tenant? I could have killed someone, Jenny. Mm. Yeah, yourself. I worked most of last week on maybe six hours of sleep and then I... I crossed three lanes of traffic and I don't remember any of it. Mm. Look, you were just doing what you thought you had to do. Because of me. You didn't make me get in that car, that was all me. I am gonna fix things. Mm. <laughs> he feels bad. I knew those was hating ass at his feet. If we can break down the stuff in here. Where's uh, Bobby? I'd be taking care of all this, but he's good. Why are you worried about his dad? Um, make sure everybody's clear. Here's Bobby. Oh, jeez, here we go. He's an asshole. Director. This is my papa Manuel, papa. <laughs> Relax. Somos amigos. Yeah, okay. Want your dirty ass money? Mejor. No. Por favor. Váyase de mi taller. Mi papá. Por favor. Don Héctor es muy generoso. Piensa en ti, Rosa, y las gemelas. Oh, Jesus. Nacho's like pleading with him, like, please. Swallow your pride. He gonna throw that shit at Hector, watch. He don't want that shit. He's old fashioned, he'll come around. And Hector. He doesn't trust him. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? Kim? You okay? Ms. Wexler sends her apologies to Mr. Gatwood and, and she feels terrible. Her work for you in time. <laughs> she gonna rent videos oh, and chill. Course, I'll tell her. <laughs> and, and Blockbuster, this well, is so old. Yes. yes. Oh. You going to see Chuck the Fuck? Why? Jimmy, I know you don't want to see me, but uh, I just want to know you're okay. A little bit. Come on, Chuck. Just need a minute. I just need to know you're all right. I'm all right, Jimmy. Okay. Good. Can I come in? Mm -hmm. Just talk for a minute. Let him in, Chuck the fuck. Yeah. He has the power on. I'm very well, in fact. Still a tight ass. <laughs> Jimmy's like, what? How? I always told you I'd get better. You just never believed me. What was it you wanted? Beyond proof of life. I wanted to say in hindsight I could have made different choices. Is that so? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's all on me. It's not, but... <laughs> If I had to do it all over again, maybe do some things differently. I just thought you should know that. I have regrets. Hmm. Why? <laughs> there aren't that many of us McGills left. Why have regrets at all? What's the point? Hmm. What do you mean? But look at you. You're in so much pain. Why are you putting yourself through all this? Because I wanted to tell you that you have regrets. What's the point? You're just going to keep hurting people. That's oh. so true. Jimmy, this is what you do. 
you hurt people over and over <laughs> and over. And then there's this show of remorse. But what's the point of all the sad faces and the gnashing of teeth? Gnashing. If you're not going to change your behavior, and you won't, in the end, you're going to hurt everyone around you. You can't help it. Damn. So stop apologizing and accept it. What about you, Chuck? Right? You ain't perfect. You didn't do anything wrong. You don't have to make up with me. We don't have to understand each other. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Tuh. The truth is, you've never mattered all that much to me. <gasps> Oh, he is really Chuck the Fuck with capital F. No, he did not say that to him. Okay. Deuces. Fuck you. Peace out, Girl Scout. You didn't mean that shit, you fucking bastard. Mm-hmm. You didn't mean that. <laughs>